The bullwhip effect is often described as a big problem in supply chains that we must try to prevent and most sources offer solutions on how to do so. However, we would argue that the bullwhip effect is a phenomenon that naturally occurs in supply chains and rather than necessarily being a negative thing, finding it is not always advantageous. Let's have a look at the formal definition. The bullwhip effect is when the fluctuations of a system exceed the magnitude of the fluctuations that are fed into the system. Fluctuations of consumer demand is a typical example. But why does it get amplified upstream? Let's briefly refresh. When we're talking about supply chain, we think about the journey a physical product takes from start to finish, from raw material sourcing to the moment it arrives in consumers' hands. A typical supply chain consists of manufacturers, suppliers, wholesalers, and retailers. And as nobody wants to be out of stock, it's common to slightly overestimate the actual demand by placing larger orders to account for uncertainty. The demand from consumers get amplified by retailers as they place larger orders to wholesalers, who in turn do the same to their own suppliers, and this continues all the way upstream the supply chain. Of course, nobody wants to heavily over or underestimate the demand as that leads to overstock and stockouts. So we must always try to minimize the bulb effect, right? Well, it might not be as simple as that. In fact, companies often amplify the variation in demand on purpose as that results in lower costs. Bear with me. Imagine the shipping costs related to your orders. A full container load is cheaper than half container loads, and together with price breaks from suppliers, economies of scale can significantly lower the costs. A company may therefore choose to place larger orders instead of smaller and more frequent ones that would more closely resemble consumer demand. Now, what if we think there is an upcoming shortage of a product? What would you do as a consumer or business scared that you won't be able to get it later? To avoid taking that risk, you decide to prepare and stock up on the product now. Like, do you guys remember what happened with toilet paper in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic? Same thing. We see the same effect from promotions. How tempting isn't it to buy something when it's cheaper? Price variations disrupt consumers' buying patterns, as well as synchronizing everyone to stock up at the same time. The bottom line is, the bullwhip effect comes from rational decision making from the players in a supply chain. It is important to be aware of its causes and consequences to understand how to best leverage your options in the most profitable way for your business.